what's up guys today in this video we are going to extend something what we have done in our last video which is authenticating our apis those of you who have not seen the first video i'll just quickly give you a recap so there is this route where we do login and in return we get a new access token right and with this access token if i send it as a header to authenticated routes my jwt token is decoded and i get certain values back in the request as request.user right but then what has happened is in some places the secret which i have used i'll show you inside modules auth and um, maybe inside my auth module if you see this configuration the secret is inside my code base now i did mention that this is not the right place to keep this secret but obviously we need to know where this should go the idle place for this is an environment file and so in this video we will see how we can configure or what basically will change in our code base so that we can configure the jwt model with a secret which is coming from the environment file so let's get started as first step what i will do is create a configuration and try to get the value of the secret from a configuration again hard coded but from the configuration and then i will show you how reading a configuration or reading from the environment file changes a little bit of the configuration because it's an async process so let's get started similar to my configuration for type ORM where I have been exporting a constant I will do the same approach over here as well the only thing is the configuration this time will be of a different type so I'm exporting a constant called JWT config I will know the type of this but when I look at JWT module dot register in our auth dot module so I can see it requires JWT module options, which is this. So why don't we type hint it? Once this is done, I'm sure if we type S, you can see I'm getting a hint that it requires a secret. So this is where what I will do is copy these two properties and paste it. Now, obviously this means I can get rid of this object in here and simply do jwt config now let's just ensure that what we changed doesn't break anything so i will try to log in again a new token is generated so copy this and paste it over here send a request and i'm getting the user's object which means everything is working fine Okay, but then even here, the, the string is kind of hard coded and we haven't completed yet. There is one more place where the string is hard coded, which is our JWT strategy, right? This is also a place where this is kind of mentioned. So why don't we do one more thing, which is this time we will use the configuration system of nest.js to get certain kinds of value so i'll create a app.config.ts which will do export default like this i'll have app secret inside this configuration so let me copy this paste it over here and now this configuration will rely on app config did i make a mistake i did it should be app config like so okay so app config it's a function and it returns app secret so this is one place where i'll need this and similarly inside the strategy as well i will add that so with this change done, all our configurations are 
relying on app config to get the value. Yes, the string is still in our code base, but at least now it is in one place rather than the previous version of our configuration where one was inside the jwt.register, right? Which is inside our app module and the other one was inside the JWT secret. So definitely this is one step ahead of what we had earlier where the secret was lying around in two places. Let's see whether everything is working fine or not. So again, I'll try to log in, generate a new token and go to this URL and paste it as the bearer token and see. And yes, this is working. So far, so good. Now, the last step is somehow this should ideally be reading things from an environment variable. So first step, I will update my environment.example file. This is the key which I'm expecting. I'll copy this, go to my environment. Okay, and I have this value already. I was playing around with the code before I'm, I was, you know, I re record the video. So this is already lying with me. Uh, let me see if this is correct. No, it is not. I'll, maybe I'll keep this. We will generate a new one. So, you know, we, we will also understand that the new one works. Okay. And now in here, I'll do process.env.appsecret. Now, here's an interesting thing. Although our, our code will work, the functionality will break. So, for example, as you can see, on login, I'm getting an error and it says that, you know, the secret or private key must have a value. And this basically means that inside my auth service, let me go over there. It is not able to sign the token. Why? Because it is not able to find the secret which we have provided over here. And can you tell me though, what, what do you think would be the reason for this? We are reading from this and even the strategy is reading from there. So what could be the reason? Well, I'll tell you what is happening. So process.env app secret is an async process. So this means that this will change a little bit. Our configuration will have to become an async configuration, which is very similar to what we did even in type ORM, right? So let's see if JWT module options has an async option, ideally it should. So JWT module async options. Yes, we do have that. And obviously now what is going to happen is I'll get a use factory method over here or rather a property and I'll need to return the two keys. And then this will break this part of our auth module because it is going to be register async. So with these two changes done, let's see if we are able to get the login function going. Yes. It is able to log in. I'm getting a token. And then if I pass it as a header, I'm able to decode the JWT and get this user object as well. Okay. Just so that you know, if I change this secret, restart my app because I have made changes to my ENV, right? So I'll just start the application again. And with that old JWT, now the decoding is failing because obviously the key has changed. So unless and until I log in again, generate a new token like so, pass it as the header, I will not get back the thing. But with the new token, I do get it. So yes, this is how I have changed the configuration in a way so that it is now relying purely on an environment variable rather than hard coding of those keys. It is much more secure because now my key is not in the code base, which means it will not go as an key 
available on git obviously and this is maintained secretly so yeah thanks for watching guys if you like this video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel